Hi there, Kim Lai here with The Savory. Here with Practical Cooking. Hi there, and welcome to your Wednesday Foodie Roundup. So let's get cooking. Today I'm gonna show you how to make decadent, champagne-infused, chocolate-covered strawberries. Pick it up from the back end, just like wrapping a burrito. You're gonna tuck it in as you're rolling. Now we're only gonna do one end because we have the chives coming out the other end. Just gonna place the avocado on the board. You can hold the knife in place, give it a good whack on the side, give it a little twist, and look at that. Now to me, this sorta of sounds like Food Network's Iron Chef. Now, by muddling up your greens, it actually releases the oils in the leaf, and the arugula is what's gonna give it that peppery taste. So it's gonna give it a little bit of a spicy kick. I'm on a mission to travel all around the country and find the best mashed up American food. So how do you do it? You're gonna grab a baster, you're gonna soak up the juice in the roaster, and you're gonna baste that bird every 30 minutes. This is a uncooked Mexican salsa. You take your Roma tomatoes and you chop them up into cubes, bite-sized pieces, being as consistent as you can. And then you're gonna just toss them into the bowl. These frozen herb ice cubes, they're great for soups and stews also. Oh my gosh, baking chicken? even putting them in the crock pot. Now we're using these cute little mason jars. One, because the mouth is big enough for you to get your serving spoon in. You can easily pop the lid on, shake them up, and set them on the dinner table. Watch, it's gonna be my luck that this will pop off. <laughs> Let's get ridiculous! They're gonna grab a pepper and they're gonna dunk it. Now the chocolate can harden pretty quickly, so we wanna get started. Dip the strawberries into the chocolate, add your toppings, and then lay them on the wax paper. Summertime is an exciting time for foodies. I'm Kim Lai, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.